Good morning, everyone, and welcome in here on Live Now from Fox. The time 759 over on the East Coast, and it is 459 on the West Coast. I do want to get to some breaking news coming in out of Hoover, Alabama. The 48 hour long search for Carly Russell now over after the 25 year old apparently showed up at her family's home last night. Hoover police providing an update saying Russell has been taken to a hospital as she appeared to be, quote, in shock. The investigation into Russell's disappearance began Thursday night when Hoover police say she called 911 and a family member to report stopping to help a toddler she found wandering along Interstate 459. Her family reports she screamed and the line stayed active, but Russell was no longer there. Police say they found Russell's car and belongings on the side of the interstate and no sign of a child anywhere. Hoover police have not announced a news conference just yet to provide more information, but I do want to play for you just a portion of the news conference they did hold Friday where they discussed how all of this played out. On July the 13th at approximately 9.34 p.m., the Hoover 911 Center received a call from a 25-year-old female on I-459 southbound near mile marker 11. She reported that she saw a toddler walking on the side of the interstate. After calling 911, the caller stopped to check on the child and also called a family member to report the same details. The family member lost contact with the caller, but the line remained open. Police officers who were already en route to the location of the initial 911 call located the female's vehicle as well as some of her belongings at the scene. They were unable to find her or a child in the area, and Hoover police have not received any additional calls of someone missing a small child. Carly got off work around 8.20 p.m. from a business at the Summit in Birmingham. She's also believed to have stopped to pick up food from a business at the Colonnade before driving towards Hoover on I-459, where she stopped near mile marker 11. That location is between the Galleria flyover and exit 10 for Highway 150. A single witness has reported possibly seeing a gray vehicle with a light complected male standing outside of Carly's vehicle, but we have no further information on that individual or the vehicle at this time. So again, that right there is a photo of Carly Russell. Once again, this breaking news that we are following on a big story that is making the rounds all over news outlets and social media here out of Hoover, Alabama, where the 48 hour long search for Carly Russell is now officially over. The 25 year old showing up at her family's home last night, Hoover police providing the update and saying that Russell has been taken to a hospital and appeared to be quote in shock. We are going to continue to follow the latest here on this story and we'll bring you updates right here on Live Now from Fox.